25 years ago, I became a type 2 diabetic. Let me tell you that story. Now, I want you to learn from, the, from my experience, not make the same mistakes. And I want you to know that if you also have type 2 diabetes or prediabetes, it's really quite easy to get rid of it, to reverse it back to normal for the vast majority of people. Well, 25 years ago, I was attending the American College of Cardiology meetings in Atlanta. There's a big annual meeting, and I attended those meetings so I could get all the new technology and atherectomy devices and stents, etc. Well, there was also a talk being given by Dr. Dean Ornish, who advocated a super low fat, no meats, no added oils lifestyle and claims that it reversed heart disease as a result. By the way, he did not. That was a misinterpretation of the evidence. Nonetheless, he advocated this lifestyle. So I thought, I'm going to give that a try. So I came home and I did exactly that. I went very low fat. I only ate vegetables, fruits, and whole grains. I gained 30 pounds. I had a cholesterol panel checked. My HDL had dropped to 27, which is a very bad high risk level for heart disease. My triglycerides skyrocketed to 390. I checked the lipoprotein panel and my, I, I had an explosive quantity of small LDL particles. I was also tired all the time. I couldn't stay awake. I had a hard time staying focused. And I had irritable bowel syndrome symptoms. I developed skin rashes. And I had a blood sugar check, 161 milligrams per deciliter. I was a type 2 diabetic. Even though I was also jogging three to five miles several times a week, I, I didn't understand it first. I thought I was doing everything right, a low fat, natural diet, I thought, and exercising a lot, and I became a type 2 diabetic and a metabolic mess. Well, I stopped eating that way. I added back oils and animal products and eggs and butter and things like that. I became a non-diabetic, and over the years, as I figured out how to craft diet smarter and smarter, my triglycerides are now 47. My HDL is now 94. I no longer have type 2 diabetes. My hemoglobin A1C, last time I checked, it was 4.8%. My fasting glucose is running the 80s. In other words, I, I learned just how powerful the wrong diet can be in creating diseases like type 2 diabetes. I also learned how powerful getting the diet right can be in not having conditions like diabetes. But there's really two parts of the solution to becoming a non-diabetic. One is stop eating foods that raise blood sugar. So when I went low-fat vegetarian, I relied on foods that almost exclusively raised blood sugar, like grains, which raise blood sugar extravagantly because they're rich in amylopectin A, a very highly digestible form of carbohydrate, and of course, fruits, less so vegetables. But so if you want to be non-diabetic or non-pre-diabetic, don't eat the foods that raise blood sugar, grains and sugars. And then two, address all the factors that worsen or did cause insulin resistance to deteriorate. If you sensitize your body to its own insulin, you start to respond. Your blood sugar starts to come down. You lose visceral fat. You're less prone to such conditions as heart disease, cancer, dementia, uh, and other conditions. How do you improve insulin resistance? Well, follow all the basic elements of the wheat belly total health and undoctored lifestyles. After we eliminate wheat and grains and limit net carbs, we also supplement vitamin D. That improves insulin sensitivity, insulin, it reduces insulin resistance. Magnesium supplementation, that helps. Getting your thyroid in an optimal level, starting with iodine, that helps. Fish oil makes a contribution also. And then lastly, all the efforts we take to cultivate healthy bowel flora that further uh, improves insulin sensitivity, reduces insulin resistance. And this all leads to weight loss, particularly from visceral fat, abdominal fat that's inflammatory, and that even further improves insulin sensitivity. So add, all, add it all up. The diet changes, all the efforts we make to improve insulin sensitivity, reduce insulin resistance, lose weight, uh, especially around in visceral fat, and you have a magnificent restoration of insulin sensitivity. And that's how you become a non-diabetic. So don't make the mistakes I made. Don't go low fat. Don't rely on a diet rich in grains. Uh, don't cut out animal products. Eat animal products. Never limit fat. Never count calories. Eat no grains, right? Cap your net carbs. Take those steps to restore insulin sensitivity. And you too can be a non-diabetic.